Hey guys, welcome back. Sully here. So today I've got quite an exciting video for you guys. I always say that every video is exciting because every single day is an exciting day out here. So uh, we start off the day like we usually do, bright and early. We're out there before the sun rises, typically looking for a subject to put in front of the sun. And today we managed to find a beautiful herd of elephants who are crossing the open plain on the top of, an hor of, on top of a horizon. And as soon as... Uh, so we sat with them for a bit, sorry. Uh, and I started noticing that they were heading to a very good uh, section of the hill where they would they would be perfectly silhouetted if we had come down to the bottom of the hill. So I told Daniel, who was driving us on that day, I told him let's quickly head down as low as possible. We headed about a kilometer down, uh, down the hill. Uh, we stopped there. I jump out of the car and I get this beautiful low angle shot. And it was absolutely magical. Have a look. <laughs> So after we finished up with the with the elephants, we started heading to an area where we find the most beautiful, actually not beautiful, the the cutest uh, babies out here, and those are hyena cubs. Uh, hyenas typically get this terrible reputation of being ugly and such, but look at how cute these cubs are, solid black in colour, and there were a few different ages of hyena there, and it was just absolutely spectacular. So I think I've changed a lot of people's minds every time I show them the hyena cubs because a lot of my guests will come down and they're like hyenas are the worst and by the time they leave after they see the cubs, hyenas get a good reputation. So one of the main reasons why we like heading out very early in the morning is that you typically find that lions are very active, especially the topi pride. They're active for about an hour, hour and a half in the morning in, sen in the sense of they, they move around, they play, uh, and they're often found out in the open during that time. So uh, what had happened was after we finished up with the hyenas, we had crossed into the area where we typically find the topi pride. And as soon as we get there, we notice them off in the distance playing on mounds. So they were all sitting on mounds. And as soon as we saw that, we, we decided not to go where all the vehicles are. Because we know that as the sun is getting up, it's about 9 o'clock at this point. So as the sun is starting to get up, it's better for us to reposition ourselves under the day. Oh, sorry to reposition ourselves in the direction that we know the lions will go in. So as soon as we saw that, we headed straight to this beautiful fig tree off in the distance. And we went, we set up there. And of course, like we predicted, the lions came up the hill, headed straight to this tree and all settled down there. But as they were settling down, they decided to start playing. And it was the most magical thing. The, the cubs all picked up a stick of their own and they were running around playing with each other. He's about to jump on the one on the right.
then soon after that we had the dominant one of the dominant males uh, one of the Salas boys his name's Urkitok he has a small scar uh, on his left cheek is it left or right I think it's left so on, on, on his left cheek there so that's how we tell him apart from the rest of the the brothers he also has a very bad limp so he came up and uh, he sat on the other side of the tree and fell down so he disappeared <laughs> Um, so then we spent most of the, the morning with them. So we had two goals left uh, for the day. One is to see the migration, which we're currently crossing at the Sand River. So we headed straight in that direction to go and watch that. Uh, it was very interesting because they would come down to the river, look at the water, some of them would have a drink, and then they would all run away, and then they would come back down. And then something that was very interesting was one of them decided to cross. And as soon as one decided, then one huge herd started crossing. Con Like, I'm not sure. I don't know why. I think they have brain worms. Very similar to sheep. I think it goes them and then sheep. Mm. And then water. <laughs> they just crossed but they had a break in the line and now they got ended in the bushes and uh, now they were We we got uh, we got a call from one of our contacts who said that there was a uh, a mating pair of leopards. So we knew that since that that was one of one of our goals for the day, that as soon as we finished up with the migration, we headed for lunch, and then after lunch we headed straight to that direction. So we had gotten there, but unfortunately, Lord Gorgol, 
who is the male, and he was with Saba, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so they were in such a, a difficult location that we couldn't photograph them per se. So I had to kind of miss that sighting, uh, but we did hear them mating a couple of times. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, we managed to get all of our objectives and it's always great when you find everything you want to see. Uh, do like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, turn on the not notification bells and see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.